What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chat Viper. Um, so I've been playing Halo 5 recently, and I've gotten the game in less than a week. I'm already plat. Um, I noticed that online, kids don't strafe. Um, so I'm making this video about um, some general tricks and techniques that you can use in game. Um, so the first thing, um, strafing is very important because um, it can literally help you dodge shots um, and make sure that your shots are when you strafe, you, you pretty much want to straight to strafe to the rhythm of the gun. It's, there's also other factors that'll go into it, but um, for example, you have the uh, VR, you typically want to shoot, strafe, shoot, and then strafe. Um, and you'll notice the gun has this rhythm. That's really the most popular way to dodge shots um, if you move to the rhythm of the gun. So it's basically like shoot, move, shoot, move. Like shoot straight left, shoot straight right, um, shoot crowd, whatever, however you want to do it. You also have to take um, consideration into their distance. Like if you're shooting a player from, you know, mid-screen to far away on the map, you probably want to straight a little bit longer or wider. Um, because if you short too, sh if you strafe too short at long distances, they don't really have to move their cursor to hit you. So you probably want to have longer strafes at short distances. Um, now if you're at close range. You probably want to, well, not probably, you basically, you, you can short, you know, hard and fast because um, you're close to them and they'll have to move their reticule all over to hit you. Um, you know, if you're close to them, try to get as fast as possible. Um, I notice kids don't really strafe. Like, when you engage them in a BR battle, they'll pretty much just walk at you or something. Like, if, you're, if, you run, if you're running around a Halo map and let's say you, you come into an expected opponent, like, you literally want to stop and go right immediately into your strafe. Like, you don't want to keep running at them or doing whatever. Like, the best option is probably just to stop and just strafe and start shooting. Um, I've seen a lot of kids run at me and do all this kind of other nonsense. But there are also other strafes that I like to talk about, uh, like the half-quarter strafe. Um, so how you basically do this is, like, I'll have my controller right here. Like, you basically take your thumb and go, like, down. It's like you're doing how Duke motions, like down, quarter circle forward, down, quarter circle forward, down, quarter circle forward. Or you can kind of just rock the bottom left to right and time it with your gun. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, how to practice strafe. Um, basically, you know, you can do octagon. 1v1s um, really do help a lot, um, you know, to get your shots up and to get your strafe up. Um, in terms of just movement. Another good tactic to kind of beat your opponent in a one-on-one DM DMR fight, BR fight, pistol fight, whatever, is to kind of match their strafe. Um, if your opponent's strafing, you notice they're doing their pattern. Maybe they do left, right, stutter, left, right. Um, if you can perfectly mimic their strafe and stay with them, you won't even have to move your cursor. You can just shoot. Um, but since you're mirroring, mirroring their strafe, you'll, you'll get automatic kill without even moving your cursor. Um, so... Mirroring strafe can also help a lot. Um, be wary if your opponent has caught on to your strafe and they started mirroring you. Um, that can be really, really bad as they'll, they'll win DMR fights every time. Um, so be wary of that. As far as um, other tips, um, as far as crouching and when you should jump during uh, one on one fights, DMR fights, BR fights, whatever. Um, I noticed that you kind of want to make that move, a uh, crouch or jump, you know, when you're last shot or about to die. Um, normally if I crouch, crouch shot, to try to throw them off, it's like literally I'm about to die. Maybe they have to put two more shots into me. Um, sometimes I'll do it into a beginning of a BR fight. I'll crouch in the beginning of a BR fight to see if I can get an advantage, get a shot over them or a shot or two over them. Um, so sometimes I do use it early. As far as like Gandhi hopping, like, I always got in the hot way. Like, you know, I'm, oh shit, they have me no shields. Let me go in the hop, see if I can pull off a miracle. Um, stuff like that. Um, but it just takes a lot of practice. I would say find your best friend. Um, go into Octagon. Um, and, sh you know, just start shooting each other in space. Um, you do want to watch your replay after, like how I'm doing right here. Um, I have the camera focused on Broken Advocate, and I'm watching myself um, to see how I strafe when I fight him. Um, so you can kind of get a sense of how you're moving and find who you should. Like maybe you notice you're not moving quick enough or, you know, you're, you don't have your Spartan shimmy down. There is shimmying in this game. 
Um, so be wary of that. Um, those are just some few shape tips. I hope you guys take into the consideration. Uh, Chad Viper out. Thanks a lot, guys.